Welcome to the It's Your Fate podcast, conversations to guide your steps and light your path in deciding your definite major purpose. I'm your host, Lefford Fate. Hello, this is Lefford Fate. And in this series of 17 podcast episodes, which is hosted by my good friend and colleague, Mike Saunders, you're going to learn about the principles to a positive mental attitude. Welcome back. Today we have with us Napoleon Hill Certified Leader, Happy Baines, and we're talking about principle number five, which is pleasing personality. Happy, welcome to the program. Thank you so much again, Mike. It's an honor and privilege to be here. Thanks a lot to all the audience and people out there. Thank you so much. You know, I want to jump right into pleasing personality because I would like to get your feeling of what the the true definition of pleasing personality is because I feel like a lot of people think, oh, I've got a pleasing personality, but they really don't. So what is a pleasing personality and why is it so relevant for us today? Great. Uh, before I just jump into the right answer, it's really uh, important for me to come back with my childhood story, why it's important for me and I, why I think it's important for everybody. But not, like my real story is um, when I was four-year-old, my mom suicided and she passed away and that was the biggest loss in my life. And, and I have stepmom and then a very hardship life and all. I was homeless twice, sleeping on park benches and on railway station in Mumbai, India. But doing even I was homeless, I was always dressed up sharp. I was not a victim that I, when I'm homeless. I kept, I kept maintaining. See, we always have choice to maintain and, and be in a, in a pleasing way. A simple and most important thing. And even, even I'll say, even a beggar is begging for money. Why not he beg for a good dress hmm. and stay sharp and ask for a job? <laughs> I mean, it's a common sense. He used so much of skills and knowledge in that. Why not to ask for the best thing? So pleasing personality, I'm not saying, it's very really important. Since childhood, it's very important for me and people in my area and my and clients, they know me about my pleasing personality that you are always dressed sharp, you are neat, clean, and doesn't matter any day of time. Whenever any occasion we see you, you are always dressed sharp, you are always in a pleasing way, always smiling, the name which you have it, it reflects in your personality, and you're friendly. And we all, deep, deep down inside, we know we can do that. Now, coming back to the, um, uh, the the question is, most of the people who are highly educated or uneducated or poor, uh, most of them, they have a lack of self-confidence, and they do not believe in their self, and they do not believe in their self-image, whatever the shape and size and, and the color they got it. And they tend to fake out and, and make it more even disliked by uh, other people instead of pleasing personality. So we live in this in the age of time. We're constantly trying to do a lot of makeover and stuff, and we're trying to hide our inner qualities and the real me side, which it's somehow the other it's it's falls shattered out. The mask falls off. We we need to understand the basic concept is pleasing personality doesn't come with a lot of money and or a lot of education or no, it's right within us we need to be a real people and most of us we are but sometimes we fail to understand our, our inner qualities and inner strength and believe on ourselves so lack of confidence and do not believing in yourself is is the most relevant thing today that we need to believe in ourselves whatever the shape size or color or language we are in, we can do our best in in, in any given time, in any country, in any place. And by staying sharp, by staying focused, and um, educating in the line of your field, and it's very important uh, to 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 obtain that principle and to obtain this very simple thing as an appeasing personality, I can say. Do you feel um, that sometimes people um, allow the busyness of the day and the stress of the day to weigh them down, and that keeps that pleasing personality from coming forth? Yeah, absolutely. And I can uh, can say that we most of the people are living uh, in a way of like a copy paste lifestyle. Sure. So instead of creating or living a legacy lifestyle. And uh, we, we we just copying that uh, if I dress like this or if I buy that car, uh, then I'll have a pleasing personality and all. 
and uh, most of them, which is a good at some point to have icon and dream and vision and all, but it should not carry it away in a day-to-day -day, uh, lifestyle in a rush of the time because we've been bombarded with so many opportunities and job tasks and all. We tend to forget that it, it will come at a time. We need to just give one brick at a time, put one brick at a time at each day, and it, there will be a monument and a big towering giant there. So um, I believe... Um, do not let not get into the rush of the go 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 thing and give us a time to reflect yeah. and do the inventory each day that what makes me special that I can do to the world how can I improve how can I be best to my family to my friends and to the client and um, there are always challenges we we got the divide we all day has been divided into three part eight hours sleep eight hour work and eight hour for ourselves so, I mean, we cannot create 25 hours in a day. That's the law. And yep. we can do the, the moment when we get our eight hours of our work, I think we should put our head and heart inside and our mind to do the best what we can do. And uh, coming back after the eight hour, then in the beginning of uh, st career stage, if you're working 15, 12, 16, or 18 hours, which is good. But let's not get carried away. You have your own life, and you can you can always have a pleasing personality at every any given time, that it will reflect your actual character rather than your fake mask are you showing yes. to the world. And we are different people in media. We tend to show things what we are doing which we are actually not doing. We are pretending. We, yes. have, a, we have a different mask and personality in the public when we appear. We have a different personality when we are are with friends and colleagues at workplace. We have a different personality when we come back home. We need to understand what exactly role I'm playing here, what makes me special, that I should be real me, that my quality, my skills and talent will be more appreciated than me, my physical appearance, than my talent. And people, if you go back in the time to time history, most successful people, they are not like a superhero or something or sharp with six packs and beauty and gorgeousness. They're simple people back there. So uh, and then I can compare not with anyone else, like in Mother Teresa, what pleasing personality she had. Like, you know, you see it's a profound thing. Like, you know, she was not a, a supermodel. She was a supermodel in her herself. Yes. And these kind of things we need to understand. We all have, we can appear in, in any given time with our character, our vocabulary, and the smile on our face is the biggest asset we have. You know, you mentioned confidence, and I feel like that is such a, a big piece of having that pleasing personality. Um, do you find that people yeah. that are not as confident need to take small baby steps toward their confidence and maybe even act like they're confident even if they don't feel like they're confident? Mm -hmm. And then that, that then comes their pleasing personality is improved because their confidence, their body sees that they're standing up straighter that, or that they are holding their head higher, and then that allows that confidence to grow and build. Excellent. Uh, I'm glad you asked me. Confidence plays a big role. And uh, even when I was homeless, sleeping on park benches, I was so confident. I can see that where exactly I'm heading towards the world and what I'm doing globally. So I was confident enough to see, visualize, and vision it. Goals are important, but most important thing has to have a vision. It's that keeps us on. And confidence is, some people think we can borrow or buy from others or learn. Comfort is already inside us. Yes. To act enthusiastic and you will be enthusiastic. Confidence is something that we need to develop. It's already inside us. We just need a little boost and push. And, and being confident for what you are, what you know, and what your language or country or culture is, be confident about yourself. Don't try to pretend change or bring something additional mask on ourselves. Confident in the way you are with your family and friends. Confident in the way which you deal with your uh, your client. We, in the beginning stage or any stage of life, we will come with the challenges that we will not have the answers. But we need to stay confident and say, you know what, I don't know the answer, but I know several other ways to bring the answer. How about that? By not demotivating ourselves, by putting our self-esteem low, the confidence goes low too. People yes. in a higher bracket, in a younger or in older areas, like you can say that, they are highly confident people. Confidence is something it, we need to practice, and mm -hmm. I think one should adopt a role model in your life that whoever he or she is, and always adopt the good things from the successful people. And a lot of successful people have bad habits too. 
since childhood, I always adopted the good ones. Yes. So we need to adopt some of our role models that how he or she is confident, what makes him or her confident. And the most important thing is we need to act, walk, talk, behave, and, and, and behave like that, that we are already a confident people. We don't have to wait in a distance to become successful. When I'll become a millionaire, then I'll be confident. When I'll become a mom, then I'll be confident. When I'll be a good student, then I'll be confident. When I'll have a good job, then I'll perform there. Let's not wait for the time in the, in the, in the future and then you create that image that I'll be confident once I'll obtain and achieve this. No. Confident is right here each minute, each second where you are. And it will come in your person pleasing personality and it will show to the person who you're dealing with and they will follow you. Most confident people are the leaders. That's why the world follows the leaders because they are confident. Imagine any leader in the world have no confidence. How would you follow? How would I follow? Yeah. And that's why we, every, each individual is a leader and they need to understand that the confidence is right inside within them. You just need to bring out. So the idea is to act, walk, talk, behave like you are already a confident person. You already have achieved your goals and vision. You have already have that what you want. Go back in the future, see, visualize your future, come in the present and act the part that you are the confident person. Excellent. Hey, Happy, what do you feel are um, yeah. some misconceptions that people have yeah. about a pleasing personality and this co building confidence? I'm oh, glad. Um, well, this is something I will say most of the people think that pleasing personality is the result of being rich or born rich in a rich family or being way highly educated or, or born in an educated family. Well, I think this is a myth, like, you know, pleasing personality doesn't only fall in that category or areas. Uh, the misconception is that uh, a pleasing personality can be in any area, shape, and form, uh, but let's not get carried away that only successful people or educated people have the only rights to have a pleasing personality, or oh, most of them they have always. Yeah. It's, uh, we need to create one. We need to create ourselves. We are the molder and shaper of our own life. We need to understand and we need to use our golden mind between our ears that to create the, the philosophy of our own principle of pleasing personality but not carried away and misconception about the pleasing personality is only for the successful people or highly educated people or a country in a very successful country and all. So those are myths and we need to bring that that image will destroy our confidence and self-image and we will never put us in a higher bracket of our life in a successful way. And sometimes you see people that are living in the poorest neighborhoods with the least amount of money and they are the happiest people you ever want to meet. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, definitely. And uh, I think uh, I would like to share a story quickly. Once when I was very young and uh, in olden days, uh, my aunt, um, they used to have a, they used to cook food with while putting the fire, uh, woods inside. There was no stove or gas or something like that. So I asked, uh, my aunt used to always tell me, oh, good little boy, they don't do this. The good boy, they should not do. It's an adult's job. It's an adult's job. And uh, once I saw, I said, when you start the fire to, to cook the food, you always usually put the small wood first not the big log. She said, yes. I said, when a small wood can bring up a light to, to bring the fire to a big wood, the small person or small area people or in the surrounding area can bring a new light to the world too. It's not important only a, a, a bigger person can only bring a success or light. It's uh, young people can bring a light to, to the world. Being a small wood can bring a biggest fire in, 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 the, in the area of so we should not uh, consider ourselves wherever we are in a poor location or a higher location or in a successful country or um, the other way around. Uh, the, the idea is to see ourselves at your best throughout the time. And it's hard, I know that, but then that's what the habit comes in. Yes. The habit puts up in our bracket, yes. Can you um, think of a time before you started um, really focusing on this principle in your life, maybe um, an example of when you started putting this into action and then some of the positive transformation you found in your life, either personally or professionally in your business life? 
Yeah, well, as I said, uh, by staying always sharp is the first most important thing at any given time. By staying sharp, and friendly, helpful, and focused towards the major purpose of life. I mean, this principle has enhanced my, my self-worth in the marketplace and especially positive changes with, in, in beloved one's heart and mind. They see this, the effect and changes in that. Um, I will say pleasing personality is being friendly, being justice, uh, being a good sportsmanship, have a tolerant, should have a sincerity of purpose. And courtesy plays a big role. And courtesy and smiling, being tactful, being patient, proper dress. We appear in the world today where what we dress, we live in the world people usually underestimate and they have a judgmental personality. So I'm not saying all people are judgmental and they assume things and all, but most of us, the, the minute we walk in any room, people judge us from our dresses yeah. before even we open our mouth. So it's very important we need to understand what occasion I'm going, where I'm going outside and what I'm doing there. So you, you cannot buy a expensive suits and all, but there is always a good shirt and a pant or an address can be ironed in the sharp way. So staying sharp is the most important thing. When I was homeless, but I was still sharp, I never feel a victim that I'm a homeless. And that got me in a higher position too. So it, it's very important throughout the day when, as I said, when we get the eight hours sleep and eight hour work, the eight hour work we need to focus what kind of work industry or feel I am, what it demands to be, what to wear, and what my pleasing personality will be more effective in that time. So staying focused, alert, sharp, helpful, and, and serving others in a positive way. And this is the inner pleasing personality. It, we cannot buy all these things from outside. It's all within us. We just need to portray it and keep our talents on the, on, the, on, the, on the table and let the world choose and pick, and they will reward us for what, what we want. Yes. You know, I was just thinking... What they will, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, please. Yeah. No, that's what in my personal and business life, uh, I've been doing my best in all these qualities. The inner quality I have portrayed uh, 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 combining with my specified knowledge and all. And the world has rewarded me so much, and I'm very thankful to the world. And I, I would be nothing what the world has given me. The whole credit goes to the world and universe. And I could not say this is me. And they have done the best. And I've got reward because of my, probably I can say, of my pleasing personality, which I maintain each day, each second. Yes, you, you need to stay aware of that each day and each second. I love that. So, Happy, can you think yeah. of an example of how you've worked with a client who maybe have overcome some obstacles and then when they implemented pleasing personality over time started to see some positive change? Yes, I have many students, young students, especially I coach and uh, do workshops and seminars for young people, especially. And one of my uh, students was uh, very depressed and stressed and have a lot of anxiety and uh, low self-esteem. And I, I coached him and I, I, I tell, like, you know, there are, few, there are three most important things if you do before you get into the other uh, areas you will get a massive result in your life. And it's uh, quite a few years ago, and I strongly remember, I told him to always get a good grades in school. doesn't matter. And, uh, and the first most important thing is to get a good grades. And second most important thing is, this, is, this message is actually for all young people too, and I'm sharing the real story, that the, the client, the student of mine, and I said the second most important thing is get a good job and stay in a vocation. And third is the marriage. Now, a lot of time what happens is we, we drop out from school and get any job as in, a, as in a construction or a food code, which is okay at the 17 and 18 or 15, but it's not in your mid-20s and 30s. So staying, getting good grades and good education is the most important thing I told him. And stay in the vocation. Find out your, the, the job that you love or the vocation you wanted to do. And third is the marriage. And you'll have a sizable paycheck and then you can get into that system. It takes only two minutes to get marriage on paper, and mm -hmm. which is a very good thing. And, uh, but to, to, to uh, deal with that and to be, take a responsibility of parenthood, and, and the marriage is the very hardest thing. And that's why most of the divorces happen. So let's not get hurry into getting into marriage, especially being young is young being and we get infatuation. It's, it's a part of normal life. It's good. But first, I told him to get a good grades, be a good student, 
to get a job and a vocation which you like to be and keep continue educating yourself and then, then the marriage part. And I think that's the most successful people if we monitor and see these are the good three best habits they have been doing since childhood. And one of my clients have uh, that same person has received massive results and he's in not even 25 year old and he's, he's very successful at his age and he has reaped the reward of his the initiative and action which he took on my principle and I, the suggestion which I get. And these suggestions can, can be taken away from anywhere. We just need to put it in order and just follow yes. the, the habits, yeah. So the ideas are all in the air. We need to pick and choose which one which serves our purpose and uh, the world will reward us and, and in a personal way. And in business way, a lot of other people have uh, got really help. Um, and I tell them at any given chance, you know, do your best and, and stay out of drugs and gang lifestyle and all. See, the easiest is to get in the prey when we don't have anything. The fastest thing we can, within a minute, we can get into this bad habits of into alcohol, prostitution, and drugs and gang lifestyle. But it is very really hard to stay in, in a persistent way to obtain the results in a hard way, ship and all. And I, I strongly believe because I have seen since childhood, I had many choices to go into the gangs, gangster lifestyle, into drugs, but I choose not to. And I stick to my principles and discipline to get educated first in the line of my field, to get the best job and do the business, which I love to do. And then, then it goes on and on. Yes. So a lot of clients, young students have got the best results from my coaching, which I give them a step-by-step -step plan, a blueprint, which they follow, and they give massive results within the first year. So what do you feel the step-by-step -step plan would be for someone to start implementing this principle of pleasing personality? First and forever, remove the facts from the fiction. Remove the facts from the opinion. Because everybody have opinion, and then we need to take a little time to listen. Even somebody is listening this. At the end of the time, they need to remove the facts for what, what exactly I said. It make does it make sense or not? So it's very important when in a in a, in a in a starting point, we need to gather the facts. Uh, having a definite major purpose is the starting point of all individual achievements, and especially young people, and they don't have a major purpose in life. That's why they drift. And most of the people are drifting in their old age too, but not having a major purpose. A step-by-step -step plan is to identify a major purpose of life. If you don't know what you exactly want to become in your life, but it's okay what you want to do this year or this six month or this month and take a baby step from there. But, but sticking to your major purpose and burning desire towards your job or your, or, your, or your business or your, your career will create a burning desire for other habits too as well. So having a major purpose is very important and it's part of pleasing personality. And the person to have a pleasing personality if he or she knows within a minute that what you wanted to do and become, especially, and, and it's a sign of a pleasing personality. And they should also understand that it's not important what are you getting at your job. Oh, and it's very important what are you becoming at your job. And it's also important not to ask in the relation to what I'm getting from my relationship. It is very really important to understand what I'm becoming in my relationship. Mm. And these, these pleasing personality traits should be applied in a personal and a professional way. And uh, it's not about the moment we, we, get, we get in the syndrome of getting what I want, what I will get, Trust me that those are not the sign of a pleasing personality. It's always to offer our best to our beloved one, what my beloved can get best out of my way of doing things or my client. And the world will shower us. And uh, these are the sim simple uh, pleasing personality trait I think one should adopt and bring friendly. And when once we have a definite major purpose, a step-by-step -step plan, as I said, the moment we have a definite major purpose, our, we are so alert, we are so focused towards that, and we don't focus on the cannot do part. We only focus on the can do part. Yes. And these are the step-by-step -step things that we need to understand. Having a major purpose in life is the very most important thing. If we don't know what exactly we want to become, it's okay. Then just stick to one-year plan, what I want to do this year, even in education. But planning little and ahead, once we know our definite major purpose, it will lead to all the massive success. The early we start, the early we know that we know what we want to become rather than what we want, 
it will lead us to a massive success in early stage, especially for necessarily for young people. And it's not really important once you get graduated and you do your master's degree and PhD at the end, at the age of 28, and then you start doing an internship and all. By the time you're 30, you, and people are judging you about your education. We should be knowing at the age of 10 what you want to become and start doing. The good news is that how far we live from our public library. Instead of the, all the cafes are full with the free internet, people rush there rather than they to be rushing to the public library where the free books are and to empower themselves. And, and to, once we know the step-by-step -step plan is what we want to do, we need to start reading book, at least one book in a week. Or, and it will be 52 books in a year, multiplied by five, 260 books in five years. A student who is in a grade 10, he start reading or she start reading one book in a week on his or her line of profile, what he or she wanted to become. By the time in the five year, he or she will be an international, international expert in this line of field by the time he reaches to graduation. Yes. He or she will write her own ticket. Mm -hmm. And the good news is that the, all the books are free in the library, but we yes. don't want to take initiative. <laughs> so these are the steps. signs. Yeah, and another st small step I would recommend that write down ideas, the 10 best ideas in a day. How can I improve my service? or towards my goal or vision. And one best idea can change our life. If we don't write ideas on, on the weekends, okay, 50 ideas a, a week, that can be thousands of ideas in a year. And one idea can change our life. And the yes. second most important step is also, whenever we get difficulties or problem, first of all, problem should be not a word in, in any people's life. Problem is something it demotivates and put our low surface down. Problem is like a challenge. See, the polio was a problem for the people, but it was a project for the doctors who got the cure. So problem, whenever we get problem, we need to sit down on a clean sheet of paper on the left hand side, we need to write down, describe the problem in detail as much we can. I'm willing to bet most of the people would have never defined their problem on paper, and that's why they get stressed out. So define your problem on paper, write down in detail, what if this happened, then this will happen. If this will happen, then this will happen. Go to the depth of the problem where the scare, the, the root of the fear is gone. And on the right hand side, then you can write what I can do my best. I think these, solving the problem and challenges in this way will lead us to the higher bracket of successful people where they are. They are not only successful because what they are genius, they are doing the things where failure people, they didn't do it. It's very yes. simple. Well, happy. Thank you so much for all of your insights on pleasing personality. What's the best way people can reach out and connect with you? Well, it's uh, again, um, they can reach me on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube as Mr. Happy Baines, which is M R dot H A P P Y B A I N S Baines. Mr. Happy Benz, you can see on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube channel. Or my website is guruglobalconsulting.com, which is G-U-R-U-G-L-O-B-A-L-C-O-N-S-U-L-D-I-N-G.com. Or they can text me or send me a WhatsApp or message on plus one six zero four five three seven four one nine four. And especially I want to say thanks so much to you and to the world and without world support and help and knowledge, it would be nothing where I am today. I'm just a tiny part. I'm just a noble servant of the world. And forgive if my, any of my vocabulary or words hurted someone. I have no heart to hurt someone or either anyone. And I want to say thanks so much. We all have greatness in us. We all have a pleasing personality. We need to just bring out all the talents outside. Being confident, be ourselves, stay sharp, stay focused, stay neat. Clean, cleanliness is the sign of the prosperity, which I can say in last, cleanliness. The cleanest of the people, the best people in the world. We can be the most poor people also, we can be the cleanest people. It's not like that. So let's, yes. let's stay, and, and most important thing is take action, action, and continue action till your last breath of your life. And do not Happy. assume, but believe in fact, sir. Excellent. Thank you. Happy, thank you so much. You've been listening to the It's Your Fate podcast. To connect with me and pick up a copy of one of my books, please visit www.leffordfate.com. That's leffordfate.com. You've met your fate. Now let's walk into your destiny.